Um, yeah, why don't we just get this ball rolling, huh? Looks like we're on. I see myself in that nice big flat screen plasma TV over there. Okay, being uh, from this angle, looks like 7:03 p.m. on June 12, 2018. This was uh, this is the sitting of the Historical Commission for the Town of Sutton, our uh, monthly meeting. Uh, just for notification, our last month meeting uh, there was not one in May uh, due to having no business. And I felt like there was nothing to present. No members had anything new to present. So I, as a historical commission, we saved town resources by not holding a meeting. <laughs> All right. So May, no meeting. All right. <clears throat> Approval for prior uh, minutes. That would be the April... 24th meeting. Present was myself, uh, Mark, and Rochelle. So. Um, Make a man, motion to approve it. Okay, motion's on the floor. I think, I mean, between the two of us being here, there's really not much to add other than that we reviewed other minutes. There was really no open floor discussions or a public forum or a public hearing. No old business and no news, new business. So, having that on the floor, is there a second? Second it. Okay, so uh, in favor of accepting the minutes from April 24th? Can we vote on that or do we have to abstain? I don't know. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think we have No. I think because there's really no content, and if there is, then Jim, you can call me up and I did the wrong thing. But right. the only content is that we accepted the minutes from the September 19th and February 21st of last year that was submitted by the clerk. He held them at Bayance. So um, we approved them on that date. So. Approved. Okay. Public for forum, having no pu public in the audience, I would say there's no public forum or a hearing. So now we can go to uh, open discussions and updates. Uh, Michelle, anything in your mind about Manchog? Nothing that I know of. It's been very quiet there. Okay. No, uh, no feedback from the um, historic district or anything. No. Okay. Excellent. Donna, yourself, anything new to add? I got an email from Jen asking about how to, you know, mm -hmm. and I haven't gotten back to her because um, I want to look up the certificate that we use for Sutton Center mm -hmm. and what we and I. It's in the. I, we wanted to do something that people would want to hang on their wall. Mm -hmm. So if, if you remember it, it was the that picture of the Rufus Putnam. Mm -hmm. Is that a well? Uh, yeah, that was the well mm -hmm. with the little girl or yeah. whatever it is. Is in the background, and then the information. Is it says, can, yeah, something like your property is a part of a historic. Mm -hmm. uh, it's listed on the yeah, and on the so, national register. And I correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we held that event on the common that same day and invited everybody in the two districts to come and get their certificates. They mailed them, um, but we did do a thing in the common. Yeah, and people got their certificates. That's right. As a matter of fact, I wasn't at that. That's why mine was mailed to me. Um, it's. Um, We had like a, what's his name? I can't think of his name right now, but we had somebody showing si signs, people. Oh, like that's right. We had that, that little thing in the common, right? Uh, the gentleman who makes the tavern signs and stuff, by the way, made mine hang from my house. Yeah. Um, that's right. So we did. We had a little fair that day. Yeah, a little, you know, an Historic event. fair. Yeah. And we had from Menden. Mm-hmm. It does the. Mm. So I don't know if that's something that Jen wants to get involved with doing, or if it's going to be our responsibility to want to do, or, you know, there's a ton of certificates for Manchog. Yeah, there are. Yeah, but and whatever. 
That was for there the was West Sutton. There was a ton between West Sutton and mm-hmm. Sutton Center too, and I I ran them all. You know, I, it wasn't we it wasn't it didn't cost us anything. No, but they looked pretty good. Yeah, I, I don't think mine. they looked bad they, at all. Nice white envelope when they came when they mailed it, and I had had correspondence uh, with Jen. I sent her an email just saying that would be happy to help. I believe that we had mailed them out, made mass copies, and mailed out to anyone. Um, that wanted them. I forgot about the fair and the common. Uh, I think that um, not get, do getting just like a certificate that doesn't have any meaning. Yeah, we could do some. I mean, you know, listen, I'm not afraid to speak. You know, well, no, I if I can find the file. Okay. And if I can get it out of my computer, that's going to be the next problem because my computer at home. Like Still using floppy disk? No. Okay. But Just I checking. do have. I can. I need to <laughs> transfer my floppy disks to a CD. I can do either on it. But my problem is, it cut me off of the internet oh. <laughs> because it's <laughs> too old. As long as they're not on eight track tape player. Cable. Do you know what a floppy disk is? I do. Okay. Just making sure we're not. Sorry <laughs> if that deviated from the meeting. But it. it, it <laughs> We'll check. Donna will check old file for for what we did. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. And and if you want, you know, if, if the for ideas. Uh, you know, I it was very nice. I I happened to have one frame that you guys did for me. Well, you got a special thing though. Didn't we do something nice for you? It was on that same background though, so I can bring it over and show okay. Jen sometime, and then you can decide. And it's. Because it's Rufus Putnam, it's not, it's town, not, yeah. mm-hmm. not yeah. district specific. Okay. Question. Yeah. You're talking about a sign. So <coughs> that man does signs and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, is blacksmith shop sign is. There is know, discussion. But, yes. So it, would this be something that. That gentleman could make a sign for the historical society's property, certainly. I know there was some discussion in an email mm-hmm. with cause some of us members are in both the society and commission, though contrary to popular belief, they are two completely different entities. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, that could certainly, but I don't think he does it anymore. Last time I've talked to him was about six years ago. and Well, we'd have to do some research mm-hmm. and find, even if one of us sat at a table and took orders, you know, mm-hmm. to the thing that you want to do is present people with signs that are appropriate. Mm-hmm. Well, so what we did was we had him, we picked out as the commission, if I remember correctly, si- six different types of signs that could be applied to someone's for. house, mm-hmm. stating uh, National Historic District, so and so's house, and a date, as long as it confirmed coincided with our inventory there were also some that were just house and, and or just house signs i mean uh, my neighbor got one wow. uh, mm-hmm. that just said something cottage Bordeaux cottage i i really like the, those the ones that just have the the um historic house name yeah and the date yeah that it was that, that it was built that's i like that i didn't so i did not participate in the you know, the, this whole thing for Sutton Center. But my thoughts sitting here and being somewhat involved with the, man, the whole Manchog process is we had a lot of people involved. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know there's like 160 properties or whatever, 130, whatever is a significant number. A lot more than that. But basically, probably what we should do or think about doing is, you know, having something down there. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like here. Right. It should be down there. It would be up there. here. It would be down there. It would not be. You know, it would you not put be. it in the hall. I can't. What's the name of that hall? Blackstone. Even Blackstone out, hall. outside would be nice, uh, maybe near the waterfall or something. That would something be great there. in the park right mm-hmm. behind uh, yeah, Parkway Hall. No, my thought was not. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying what we did for Sutton. So, 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 okay. but that's All because right. it was the center in West Sutton. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So another thing that I'm and this isn't really historical. Well, it is in a sense, but I have a document that came from the state archaeologist locating all these GPS points in Manchog. Oh, wow. And, but this is not your 8 by 10. This is, this yeah. is like this. And, uh, you know, maybe 
who knows? Maybe it's, like a display or something, or yeah, no, it's a, it's, you know, it's a space shot, right from Google Space or something. And he went and GPSed all these things after he walked around down there. Oh, that's cool. So he's, he is identifying every points in the quarry yeah. up behind where Marion King used yep. you know, that residence there, the farm. So you can see this, you can see that, you can see the uh, remnants of the old mills. I don't know if you can see them from on this shot, but you got the GPS coordinates and all the rest of this you stuff. Must be able to see the canal too, some of the yeah, canal work. Yeah, I'll bring it in. Let me show it to you. It's um, I don't know if somehow we we got into that. I was part of the uh, research into that particular project. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay. Yeah, we can come up with something. Good. Let's. Uh, so once you get the file, even if you contact me. Anytime via email with Jen, just put me on a CC. Mm -hmm. We can come up with something. I think it, it, it's it, deserving. Made, it made it a little more festive, yeah. you know, it was rather than just. We had a good turnout, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was a lot of preparation. That was Tom Johnson, if I remember correctly, mm -hmm. um, spearheaded that. Good. Okay. Yeah. Great. But back then, I, you know, I was more closely in touch with preservation people. So now, uh, not so much. Except yeah. the guy from Menden is still doing his yeah, is he? business. And, um, and, but I'm sure we could mm. find other people. Do it at a time when the brick block. Is open. Give them something else yeah. to do. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah. Yes, we oh no, that would have been seen. Sutton Center. Yeah, no. so. But there's the Valen courts. Mm -hmm. So it'd be game, I think. All right. Well, mm -hmm. we can. It's in the parochial stage right now. Once we know, once we know what Jen wants to do, and certificate-wise, if they just want to have a thing like this or I'll do a mailing. Mail just mail them. But I agree with you. Mailing is a little more impersonal. Okay. Well, you need they need you need to have a little bit of a celebration. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, they definitely had the best turnout. All right. Great. Any other open discussions or updates about old business? Uh, old business uh, was brought to my attention. Actually, I, I'm going to say it was probably. F uh, Four meetings ago, which would have literally been three meetings ago since we didn't have one in May, uh, was brought up about the Halls Mills house and how we should do a, another inspection over there. Donna, you were with me on that, that we go way back that far when we created that document. Mm -hmm. And we had and the... you're right, because I looked at it. It doesn't say we have to do one. Right. It says we, we can. Yeah, right. You don't have to, but you can. Right. Uh, with prior notification. So I did talk to Paul at the church. And he, you know, I mean, I don't have an issue. They're out there painting right now, you know, trying to fix some things. And that's what the old houses are. Believe me, I know. It's always something. Um, I did get in there when they were doing kitchens a long time ago, like at the very beginning. I, I've been in there several times. It's been, uh, you know, um, I went over and helped them help to wallpaper yeah. and stuff like that. So I always thought they were doing a great job in that. Everything I mean, they brought was absolutely mm -hmm. appropriate. Brought great ideas to the table when they were doing it, and that was a, you know, I lost a lot of friendships over that house, believe it or not. But um, I think they did a good job. I talked to Paul. I said we were considering maybe taking. He said no problem. You know, just to stop on by, give him a call. I went by at one point. Uh, there was no one there. I. We did a presentation on the Boston Massacre. I, I might have talked to him before that. I can't remember. Or after. We had a presentation after right. about a book that was uh, yeah. the author, and I had spoke to him. So he's, he's all game for me to stop by. It's just logistically it's hard sometimes on the weekends. That's my only time I get to do yard work and stuff. But we'll get something in place, and we'll talk to Paul. So... And I pulled out all the old documents. I pulled out the preservation easement agreement and all that stuff. It, would, it might be nice to do um, some photos or a mm. video. Oh, yeah. Because we do have the video from when with the That's right. other guy who is from Connecticut that was the, you know, the really expert yeah. preservationist. I forgot. I got that video somewhere. 
I, there should be one in the file. It might be up in that. Uh, might be in the file cabinet. Mm -hmm. I visit with photos and video. I mean, that, that would be good things to have for good documentation. Yeah. Okay. And it's also uh, really neat to see how you can preserve, you know, how you can preserve, because uh, we, they have interior re restrictions. Yeah. But how, and how you can do that and have one of the greatest, most modern, yeah, beautiful, <laughs> you know, I mean, you walk in and you know that it's old. Yeah, you right. Know, but uh, it's just incorporating it was the really two. gorgeous. The yeah, last they time did a good job. It. They hadn't finished upstairs, but okay, good. Anything else in the Halls Mills? How about any other old business? Wow. Okay, new business. So I passed out a piece of paper just so that the audience can see. Mass Historic, uh, Chris Scully is asking for our updated board and contacts. Uh, periodically he'll send out things that uh, may be of interest to the members as well as the, you know, the commission itself. So he just said it's been a while since I've had an updated, which I'll take the hit on that one. Um, you can... Um add the other members here because they don't have you know yeah whoever he i'll just send i'll just send it, this is what we have right now and and the other people aren't members yeah they are then you, you need to he just needs a list yeah that's what i'm going to do i just wanted to have your so, so you need to get mark yeah mark, mark and paul mm -hmm. and paul right and you can add them to the list yeah that's what i'm going to do so okay. I, I just wanted to have your con your updated info and then yeah. I'm going to send him a contact list okay and let's see new business I think that's the only thing I have for new Let me just make sure here all right oh, looks like that one sec Okay. Any other new business? All right, we're going to do announcements and correspondence um, from the town administrator, um, Jim Smith. We have the employee policies packet dated uh, June 8th, which is this for last Friday, I believe, or something. In, enclosed in the following policies are, are attached for your review is a town computer email internet use policy, town of Sutton sexual harassment and gender bias policy, town of Sutton professional conduct policy, fraud, and preven fraud prevention and detection policy, as well as an online uh, conflict of interest law that you have to take and fill out. As a state employee, I do most of these things for the, uh, with the state, but because this is a municipal entity, it may be a different, uh, may be a different uh, uh, plat platform. So it may not approve my state. So I will do this. I'm asking, I've given uh, the members present tonight their copies. I will um, get these to Paul and Mark when I get a chance. Okay, so that we did. How about, uh, looks, uh, looks like this is another an announcement. The Sutton Historical Society Potluck Cookout is Friday, June 15th at 6.30 p.m. at the Manchog Baptist Church at 439 Putnam Hill Road. Uh, basically, they have a potluck dinner, and then you sometimes there's a presenter there or someone that does a speak, uh, speech or presentation I know one thing, there's lots of good food. So, unfortunately, I will be unavailable to attend. 
I always like mm. the food. We had a thunderstorm last year that put a big splash in everything. You've yeah. never seen tables move so fast into yeah. the church and <laughs> yeah. things like that. But the one before it was good. We had a lot of good food at that yeah, one, too. <laughs> so that would be uh, Friday, June 15th. It's handicap accessible. There's a, a ramp in the back of the church you can't see from the street, so people on wheelchairs and crutches can get in very easily. Outstanding. And this is open to the general public. Correct. Okay, so we did that, that. I also have a, what appears in it's unopened, but looks like it's a Sutton Historical Society bulletin that was forwarded to us in our mail, volume 2018, issue one for the spring of uh, 2018. I have this copy here for any member present that would like a copy. I think three of the four members here probably have it already. Donna. Sure. There you go. It's it's great reading material. All right. Presented by your cousin. <laughs> yes. Um. Hmm. All right. Does anyone else have any announcements or correspondence? Um, uh, Christine Watkins is going to do a presentation in the fall on World War I veterans. Oh, yeah. And she's been having difficulty finding information at, via um, Medichuk um, post. If, does anybody have a, any information on some relative that came from Sutton on World War I? You know, if they have photos or some information, they could give it to Christine and she can decide what she wants to do with that. And number two, um, do they have any pictures of John Matichuk? He's the, the veteran that died and the post is named after on that. Spelling and of the last name again? And which? And Watkins? Um, uh, oh, no. Ma John. M-A-T-E-Y-C-H-U-C-K. I lost John M-A-T. It's probably in that bulletin, isn't it? M A T E Y C H. It has to be a K, and it was Polish. <laughs> I think it just ends in a K, if I remember yeah. the, the sign correctly. Okay, well, we'll figure that out. Any information pertaining to that soldier? If they would um, get a hold of Christine Watkin Watkins through the Sutton um, Historical Society. All right. <sighs> Any other announcements or correspondence? I have an announcement. Every time we have a meeting here, come rain, snow, shine, Sutton Cable is here. <laughs> and they have updated their equipment. It's outstanding. So I want to make sure that this commission oh, yeah. extends an appreciation to Sutton Cable attending our meetings all the time. So thank you. You don't get to see the guys behind the scenes. Right now I'm looking at a couple screens. they got all these little lights blinking. There's a lot going into that. It's not just pressing a button that says record and stop. So I want to make sure that uh, they're recognized for all their uh, help. All right. I guess, uh, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. All Second. right. It looks like a seven, I can't even see the, seven. what is it? 27. 727, we're adjourned for this meeting. Thank you, Mr. Cable.